Hello everyone. This week we're going to be talking about Times Tables Rockstars. Um, it's a really good programme for practising times tables. It goes through the um, fluency with your multiplication and your division facts. So the app is free to download. So when you download the app, this is what it looks like. You tap log in. I'm going to log in as a school account and as a student account. Um, it might ask you there to pick the school, uh, but if you just type in Northway, it comes up. Make sure it's not the Northway in Muggle in Liverpool. Make sure it's Northway Primary and Nursery School. That's us. Okay, so then we've got our username. So then we type in our username. It's normally the first three letters of your first name and the first three letters of your second name. Um, but you can you can change that. Teachers can change that. So just double check that. Um, and then this is for a sample student. And then our password, again, is normally uh, three letters. But again, your teacher can change that. So just double check exactly what your username and password is. And then tap that login when you're ready. And then this is our homepage. So there's quite a lot going on on Times Tables Rockstars. What's lovely is that the children, most of them are already really familiar with it. So they're already used to the layout. Uh, but if we work from the top down, we've got single player and multiplayer. So this is our single player page and this is our multiplayer page. So let's start with single player for now. Um, and we've got the garage set. Now that's where you can see um, the times tables you've been set by your teacher. So on this account, I've been set my ones, twos, fives and tens. Okay. So you can see here that this is my teacher set times tables. I'm going to play solo and I'll get 10 coins per correct answer. If I tap that little arrow there, I can change the length of the time I want to spend in each game. Um, so let's have a little go of that one. Get a little countdown first. Okay, 6 divided by 1. 4 times. Okay, so you can see we want to go as fast as we can. We type in the answers and we can see over here on the right-hand side, we'll move up the more right answers that we get. So every time we get a right answer, we go up. Um, let's see if I... We've got our game settings there that we can change. Uh, the number pad, hide the number pad, loads of different things that you can edit there. Um, if I had have finished that, then I would have collected all those coins. I then got the studio. Now this is where I'm tested on all of my times tables. So 12 times 12, all, all the way through. So this obviously isn't applicable for all children. It's nice for them to have a little go at, but it can be um, a little bit demoralising if you know they're getting um, quizzed on times tables that they're just not quite used to yet. Um, so have a little go, but don't worry too much about that if you're... Um, you know, maybe the end of year one, year two, year three, we want to kind of be getting there by the end of year three into year four. Um, and then our sound check questions again, that's, this is a new uh, feature in the last couple of years in line with the year four times tables check. Um, so that's a really good thing to be practicing, especially if you're in year four. Okay, so they're all of our single player games. So we kind of go from our teacher set times tables to the studio and the sound check feature that is there as well. We can collect those coins and we can change how long we're playing for as well. Multiplayer is where it gets quite interesting. So you can play in a festival, which again is up to 12 times 12. So that's all your tables and you're playing against people from around the world. So you can see you've got these four music festivals here. They've got the timer over on the right hand side of how when they start you can see how many people are in those uh, festivals already so if i wanted to say oh i'll play uh, Lollapalooza, oh i'll tap on that one and then that countdown is there for me then so i can see as soon as it starts i'll join that and it'll go through all those times tables and i can end coins that way which is really really good but i quite like this feature as well you've got the arena which is very similar but it's only got your teacher set times tables. So this is still applicable for everyone uh, who has a TT Rockstars account, but you can play against other classmates. So you can see here, there's no one else um, playing in this one at the moment. But if you've got 
uh, a friend in your class who wants to play at the same time, they can log in as well. And you can both say, right, let's both join Wembley's stadium. And then as it goes through, um, Wembley's stadium will start, arena will start, and then you can play against each other. But you might have different tables set for you than your friend might, but you're still only playing um, those tables that have been set for you. So someone else might be on 12, up to 12 times 12. Someone else might be just practicing their 10 times table this week, but you can still play against each other, which is a really lovely feature. Um, you get one coin uh, per correct answer for this one. And then the last one there is the rock slam. That's like where you can challenge someone and set someone a score to beat, which is really, really nice. So you can pick someone from our classes. You have to know their rock name. Pick their rock name. And then you can set them a challenge, which is really a, another really nice feature. Um, it's quite self-explanatory. It's about practicing uh, our times tables and our division facts. What you can do with your coins, if you come down to the bottom corner there, you've got play, which is the page we're on. Then we've got the shop page, which is really nice because now you can see what you can actually get with all your coins. So up here in the left-hand corner is my rock star that I've made. Um, that's just the automatically generated one but I can then go through when I've earned my coins I can change the eyes, the mouth, the legs, the shades I can change all sorts uh, using those coins that I've earned while I'm playing your coins, the amount of coins that you'd have is up there on the right so if I've been practicing lots then I'd have lots and lots of coins there um, so that's a really nice feature to be able to edit that uh, battles and then we've got classes so this is where you can see your other classmates so you can see how many coins they've got if you know their rock name um, you can see how many coins they've got uh, what their score is so down here sky stardust down on the bottom right this is me down here uh, but you can see yourself compared to everyone else in your class and how many coins they've got um, and you can see the stats as well which is really really nice Finally, you've got the me page. So again, you can edit in the shop your rock star. Uh, you can see how many coins you've got, but you can also edit like your color scheme. So you can change how you want your app to appear. Um, there's also other accessibility settings here. So like huge font, you can tap on that one, um, which will change the font for you. Um, change it to this font, which is easier to read. Um, change the colours to a colourblind theme which is a really great feature and then there's loads of other different um, settings that you can have on there as well. You can see your own stats so when you've been playing lots it'll come up with like a colour coded where you're good at where you need to practice a little bit more and um, it'll give you the charts for the rest of the school as well uh, so you can see through the whole school and for my year as well and then any downloads that they want to put on the app so there's a lovely little rock poster for you all. Uh, that you can download it's a really good app it's got lots of great features and it's really really nice um to be practicing our times tables as much as possible uh i hope that that was helpful uh let me know if you've got any questions again just send any messages to your class teacher uh, or to me on seesaw that's fine too have a lovely weekend and see you all soon bye